Let's take you to South Australia now, where it seems nearly everyone is keen to replace that state's ageing brown coal-fired power stations with solar thermal energy. The community in Port Augusta supports the move, as do unions, environmental groups and the company who owns the existing stations. But the state government still needs to be persuaded, and that was the intention of a 14-day walk which wound up over the weekend. Ellen Sandal is the National Director of the Australian Youth Climate Coalition and one of the organisers of the walk, and uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Have you heard any more from the state government as a result uh, when you finished your walk? We have. There were some great results from the 328 kilometre walk that we did. Actually, Energy Minister Tom Kutzentonis from South Australia came and visited us as a surprise last Tuesday and asked for a meeting with us tomorrow. So obviously the message is getting through. Tell us a little bit about this issue because, of course, these two old power stations are really getting to the end of their life, aren't they? Absolutely. There's two coal-fired power stations in Port Augusta. They're the oldest and dirtiest power stations in the country and they're getting to the end of their life and shutting down. And now the community has a choice whether they replace them with Australia's first solar thermal plant or with a gas plant and pipeline. And the community in Port Augusta, the council, the businesses, unions, they all want solar because it's better for jobs in the area it's better for health and also, of course, better for reducing emissions. Well, tell us about the job side of things, because I was surprised to see the unions on board so often in these kinds of issues. It is a question of giving up quite a lot of jobs. How many more jobs will be, be created by switching to solar power? There are a lot of jobs to be created through this opportunity. So there is a choice to replace the coal plants with solar or with gas. If we replace them with gas, there's very few jobs available and a lot of those jobs will actually go out of Port Augusta, so it's only a few hundred jobs. Whereas if we replace them with a solar thermal plant, it's something like 1,800 jobs and those jobs will actually be in Port Augusta, which is why the unions and the community are so behind this. Will the, uh, uh, the company or running the, the, the power stations at the moment be involved in this transition? Absolutely. Alinta, who owns the two coal-fired power stations, need to be a part of this. And we've been really encouraged by the fact that they've come out and said that they support the transition to solar power. Um, they can see that the writing's on the wall and the coal plants need to shut down. And they support the transition to solar power in Port Augusta. But it's just a matter of where the money is going to come from because it is an upfront capital cost. And that's why we're asking the state and federal government to chip in the money to make it happen. So up until now, what kind of responses have you been getting as well as the company and, uh, and the unions? Well, on our 14-day walk, we were really encouraged to see the community was right behind us. In July, the Port Augusta community actually held a vote on whether they would like solar or gas. And more people turned out to vote than turned out for the council elections and 99% of them voted in favour of solar. And we saw the same kind of thing all along our walk. People in towns came out to support us, farmers, local shop owners all came out to say how much they want this built. And that we were really encouraged then to see the energy minister come and meet with us. A few months ago he was very pro the gas option but after seeing how much community support there was he actually went over to Nevada in the US to see some of these plants operating and now he's singing the praises of solar. So on Tuesday we'll be talking to him about how much money the state government's willing to put up to make it happen. Well it sounds like a, a bit of people power, everyone involved uh, might have uh, made a big difference. Many thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks very much. Quite an outcome. Yes, Green yes. energy, we'll see, which is great to we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, we can uh, remind you of those extraordinary scenes we saw play out on the streets of Melbourne yesterday.